Hi guys, me and Dai Chas Break right here and this is a Drush update for September and so yeah, many things have changed since June and today I'll be showing guys what new in my Drush update so let's get straight to it. Alright, so uh, previously if you watched my June update for the Drush update, uh, the 4.30 was somewhere around here, I think where the F12 banana is right now, but yeah, let me just get straight to what I'm talking about it first. So yeah, let's talk about the highest floor, which is the hypercar corners. Previously, if you watch my June update video, there's no hypercar at all, but since then, I've gotten a GT order programming Huayra and an Oto Atun Z11. So yeah. What are the future plans for this floor? Well, basically for 2019 this year, there will not be any more hypercars coming. So yeah, that will be on the only two hypercars at this floor. And uh, but for next year 2020, I'm trying to get the Bugatti Chiron, the Veyron, and I think there's one more car, but I can't remember. Remember, but other than that, just the the Bugattis, which should be right on top here. And yeah, that's it. I have to say for the hypercar corner. Let's move on to down to the Ferrari corner. You can see the Ferrari corner will be is roughly like ninety percent done because I have all the Ferrari I like. That uh, basically is I have almost have all the Ferrari model that I like that Ferrari produce. The only car missing from my garage right now is a uh, TDF, which if you want my SG's DC uh photo shoot video, I mentioned that this fine and I right here I think will replace the TDF, but that's false. I have decided to just get the TDF instead to sum up my collection. So yeah, this is basically uh there will be the TDF will be the last Ferrari to my Ferrari collection for 2019 and after that I won't be collecting any more Ferraris unless something interesting pop up on the market that I decided to just sell one of this Ferrari. But other than that, the TDF will be the last car and the first car to get a license plate, which I'll discuss something about it later on. So yeah, let's move move down to the middle section, which is the Porsche section. And right now, I just have my 124 steel Ferrari F430 in this livery. But other than that, I think this 430 right here will be going away soon once I have the Porsche collection uh, fill up. But other than that, uh, if you saw my previous video, I have the GT3 RS from Autoart and the Terra GT from Autoart. They just recently uh, why is the Mini Champ 911 GT3.2 in this graphite color? So yeah, um, other than that, I have no more to say. But I'm trying to get a uh, 911 Turbo, the dot one generation, and the GT3 RS dot two with the white sub pack, same as the GT2 RS with the white sub pack, which will be going alongside right here. And to finish it up, I will get a Mini Champ 959, which will go right here where the GT3 is right now. The 959 will be moving down here once I have I'm able to get it. But other than that, that's all I have to say for this three section right here. Uh, now I'm gonna move on to the Lamborghini corner. All right, let's talk about Lamborghini. Lamborghini, I have. Let's talk about the third lowest floor right first. So yeah, this is basically the Lamborghini corner, the hypercar Lamborghini hypercar corner. Right here we have the Kyosho Show Lamborghini Veneno Coupe and the Lamborghini Veneno Roadster. So yeah, these two are just resin model, they can't open up. But other than that, I know much to say about it. Right beside the Aventador J from Autoart, the Lamborghini Aventador J, the one of Lamborghini Aventador from Lamborghini itself, the open top roadster, no roof, no uh, wind, uh, the roof thing, the no roof and no wind screen, that's what I want to say. So yeah, this is basically my just recently acquired uh, model. I think there'll be an eye to the unboxing video right about here. So I go and click there to watch it. And right beside the Aventador J will be the Sesto Elemento, which is right now under the cover to protect it from the dust. But if you do not know about this uh, Sesto Elemento, this is basically the serial number 1000 Sesto Elemento, hence I decided to keep it in the cover to protect it from the dust. But uh, I think there will be also an eye somewhere to watch the collection. Plus, I think at the end of the video, I'll leave a card to see the other guys watch the unboxing video of that as well but other than that uh, for this corner there's nothing else to say for 2019 this is basically the oh yeah the last car that will join the Lamborghini hypercar corner will be the Reventon which will be somewhere in the December period hopefully I'll be able to get it 
if I'm not able to get it, it will be most likely January 2019. If I did get it, then January 2019, I will have the Chantonara Coupe and the Chantonara Roadster. The Chantonara Coupe will be in this uh, clear carbon uh, paint, and the Chantonara Roadster will be in large spec, which if you guys don't know about it, the Chantonara Coupe and the Roadster I'm intend to get will be their launch pack which for the coupe is the clear carbon and the, for the roadster is the a bit like the silvery with the brown interior so other than that man, I had no much to say about it so now let's talk about the Vandana Corner well if you watch the watch my unboxing video this is also my latest uh, model I just recently got this which is the Vandana S my second Lamborghini Vandana S if you are wondering what is my first Lamborghini Aventador as well, is the yet is this yellow with the SUV ring, but just that is the white color one. So yeah, um, <coughs> sorry about it. I'll leave an eye to watch to this unboxing video as well. And yeah, for as of right now, my Aventador collection is done until the SVJ Roadster and the SVJ Coupe come out once Ota release it. And but for now, I'm not too sure the colors I will be getting. It's only time until I see the renders for the SVJ Coupe and the road stuff. But once the renders have been out, I'll make my final decision on the color I'll be getting. So yeah, that's I have that's all I have to say for the Ventor Corner. I'll talk about those two Ventor later on, but let's move on to the Huracan Corner, which is the lowest floor among all. For the Huracan Corner and the Slash Garado Corner, I have no much to say. The this is also almost like 85% done. I just need to get the Super Trofeo GT3 car for the Huracan and the Gado and once I got those, the Gado corner slash Huracan corner are also complete. But yeah, if you haven't watched this three uh Huracan collection video slash unboxing video, do do, do uh watch that as well. I'll leave an eye to the collection video somewhere around here and the card to watch this unboxing video for all these three. But yeah, that's all I have to say for the Lamborghini corner. I'm very blessed to have all these Lamborghini in my life as of right now, 2019. But yeah, that's all I have to say for right now. Let's move on to those two Lamborghini over there and those two here. So I have thing to say about this. So yeah, off to let me talk about this next. So yeah, let's talk about this uh, three layer display case. Mm. Alright, so what do I have to say for this three layer display case? Well, this is the Holy Trinity display case. As of right now, we have the Porsche 918 from Auto Art. La Ferrari from Barado and soon to arrive next month will be the Auto Art McLaren P1, which I can't wait in this uh yellow color, which I don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah, if you're wondering where the McLarens are, though, if you have watched my previous video, I said the McLarens will be here. But no, I think I decided to just move the, move the McLaren to here because uh this is the case. This display is quite as of right now quite empty, so I just. Might as well just fill it up with something. So yeah, the MP4 dash 12 c will be placed right on top here, and the P1 GTR will be placed right below here. So yeah, it's a great pair to sit alongside to see McLaren, the original McLaren P1 with the other three hypercars. So yeah, that's all I have to say for this corner. Let's move on to the final corner. All right, let's talk about the final corner. So if I, you can't see anything, oh shit, it's over. It. Oh well, never mind. Let's just deal with what we have right now. So yeah, if you're wondering what are these two Lamborghinis right here are, uh, this is the, basically the Liberty World Lamborghini Aventador from Old to World, which I also just picked up. The eye to the unboxing video will be right here. And yeah, if you're basically I know much to say about this Lamborghini Aventador, just that it's all black with the black rims, black and the white tire riding all alongside. And yeah, that's all I have to say for this Aventador, Liberty World Aventador. Let's move on to the DMC Aventador. Not much have changed since I update this DMC. I have talked about you guys about this DMC Lamborghini Aventador. This DMC Aventador has been very well looked after with the doors up. Just if I were to do that on the Auto Art one, uh, the hinges on it might wear over time. But if I do this for the wireless Aventador, uh, it won't. Because the mechanism for it is different from Auto Art, as you can see right there. Yeah, the me I think it's you somewhat caught that. Yeah, so you saw that. Oh, I not much to say about for these two. Those uh, so right now these two will be staying here. Once I got my dish, my leaf for the Ventador corner, I will be moving those two inside there temporary until the SVJ come. Once the SVJ come, 
uh, this two will be back out here uh, under this is leakage but as of right now it will be here once I don't leave we we'll move back in for hibernation for a while but yeah that's all I have to say for these two, two corners so let's move on I'll now talk about the future plan for uh, next year and maybe December if any, there's anything new but so yeah let me talk about tell you guys about December what is my plan for the remaining of the remaining three months of 2019 so yeah for yeah it's, it's basically it's sunset right now here in, as of now I'm recording but yeah what is my plans for the remaining three months of 2019 well the remaining three months of 2019 I have the Matram T1 which I'm collecting next month the following month after that I'll be getting the TDF and oh yeah the TDF I'll be taking a look out I order from my local die cast dealer the five plaza at the location because I always buy a lot of things from them so they help me pre-order the TDF for me so that is expected to come I think roughly end of this month September so uh, I think I won't be doing any videos on it but do keep a look out for my Instagram my Instagram should be popping up somewhere at the end of the video but yeah once the TDF come I'll I'll show you I'll post a picture of it so you guys can take a look and yeah after the TDF will be the emission model R34 which I think there will be a post of it on my on my Instagram already and yeah alongside the emission model R34 I also bought some car cover for the hypercast and yeah that's all I have to say for now oh yeah before I end off this video uh, let me talk about the license plate thing the license plate thing I've been debating quite a lot whether should I not whether should I or not put it but yeah I think I have fun to this conclusion that I decided I, that I should do it because I see that YQB collection yeah shout out to you guys shout out to you man uh, I saw that you uh, put your license plate made like it changed the look of the car somewhat but for me I kind of like skeptical about putting it because once you put it if you want to remove it in the future or when you want to sell the car away there might be some glue residue there so it will leave a mark which I don't like at all but uh, since I did a plus I did the idea I did a poll on Instagram and majority of you guys want me to put a license plate on it so yeah I'm going to do it as well uh, it will be starting from the TDF onwards so after the TDF it should be November period roughly around there once the TDF come I'll put a license plate on it and the Chantonari Cook Roaster the Chiron the Veyron and I think there's two more oh yeah yeah, I think that's all for next year. I think there'll be four cars I'll be getting next year because I kind of want to restrict myself from getting more model cars as actually right now my bank account is quite low. So yeah, need to uh, restrict myself from getting more model cars. But yeah, that's all I have to say for this video. Oh yeah, before I end of the video, I'm going to talk about my future die car collection, what I'm planning to do. So yeah, um, oh yeah, do you see this display case right here with all the my Lego mini figure? Yeah. I do collect Lego minifigure in the past, but now, as of right now, I do collect minifigure, but I do not collect Lego sets. And that's my dry cabinet for my camera equipment. And yeah, that's if you see this table or something slash something, I don't know. What, I don't know what to say about it. But if you see that, that my plan for this is I will get a display case. Uh, somewhat this smaller downsized version of that. Get that. Place it here, and it will be the. Uh, not auto uh, the Aston Martin and Mercedes AMG corner which will be right here means for the yeah uh, let me pause the video for the my hand getting tight so yeah all right we're back all right so let me continue, continue what I'm saying for the Aston Martin and Mercedes Benz corner I'm not I'm not intending to collect quite a lot of uh, Aston Martin and Mercedes Benz because I'm not a few strand of them but I think I'll collect maybe because one garage lead can leave one uh, garage space can maybe put four ca eight cars inside so maybe half will be mercedes half will be aston martin so i'll get maybe the vulcan db11 the vanquish and maybe one more which i think will be the new vantage which is coming out in the future and for the mercedes corner will be the amg gtr the sls black series i think the clk gtr clk gtr roadster and i think there's one more or, or that's the maximum i can't remember but yeah the most bottom corner if you have seen this uh news going around previously that they talk about the mercedes truck yeah i really want to get that just that's quite expensive if you're wondering how much the price the price should be popping right about here yeah that's the price that's quite expensive but let's see how what the future holds for my collection as so of right now i don't have uh, I don't know what to say. I have no plans. As of right now, I need to get approval from my mom, you know, so I just, if I were to get rid of this, I have no place to store my Mimi figures and yeah, 
I need to plan how I'm going to store my things and my other things. Future die cast garage, everything. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say for this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at die cast break. My Instagram should pop up right about now. And yeah, click on the subscribe button down right below to see more videos like this. Or click on the icon right here or here to see to subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, I think there's two other videos popping right about here or here, somewhere around here. To I think there should be a Lamborghini playlist for you guys to see. So yeah, and this is my latest unboxing video or slash vlog for me. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's Die Chance Break and yeah, whatever I just said. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.